Yo, I did this told my he want receipts. Let's start with your mother. Your mother got the receipts. Everything is in your mother name. That's the one who got the receipts. Good, baby. I love you. I love you too. That's my hero right there. Ain't nobody like your mama. I give all thanks and glory to God for my mother. So some wild rumors are floating around about Diddy's mom Janice and her shady past and now former bad boy artist Mace has joined the chat with claims that Janice holds all the receipts of Diddy's alleged crimes. There's also been a lot of speculation over the years about Diddy and his mom's strange dynamic, with some sources even alleging that Janice helped orchestrate those FO sessions. Not only that, but rumors also popped up recently that Janice couldn't stand Diddy's ex Kim Porter because she was scared Kim would expose Diddy's business to the world. So what's the deal with Diddy's mom? Did she enable Diddy's behavior all these years? Let's get into it. Biggie ain't here, so Big can't give you no receipts. He dead. Craig Mack can't give you receipts. He dead. Mm. What are you talking about? Who else? Black Rob can't give you receipts. He dead. Mm. And everybody else, you may sign paperwork so they can't talk about what I'm talking about. Every day, it seems like there's a fresh batch of disturbing accusations surfacing against Diddy. And at this point, people are wondering how did Diddy end up in such a mess? Like, was he just wired this way? Or did something happen to him that turned him into this real life boogeyman of hip hop? Well, many are pointing fingers at Diddy's mother, Janice, suggesting that she might have played a role in enabling Diddy's alleged crimes. There's even talk swirling around that Janice was so fixated on Diddy becoming a mogul that she turned a blind eye when things got rough, even when he laid hands on her. But let's rewind a bit for some context. Diddy was born on November 4th, 1969 in Harlem, New York to Janice and Melvin Combs. Janice shortly worked as a model before becoming a teacher's assistant, or at least that's what Diddy's Wikipedia page claims. Meanwhile, Diddy's dad Melvin served in the U.S. Air Force and allegedly had ties to the notorious drug lord Frank Lucas. In 1972, Melvin was shot dead while sitting in his car on Central Park West and the case was never cracked. However, there were some rumors that his own crew took him out after he became a police informant. Now let's talk about Janice. She reportedly showered her son with all the love and affection in the world. And although Diddy has a sister, Keisha, Janice's focus was on Diddy. In fact, some say she was downright obsessed with him, leaving Keisha in the shadows. Diddy also never shied away from flaunting his tight bond with his mom, always giving her shout outs and thanking her for everything she taught him. Ma, I love you. This is your day. But with all the nasty allegations swirling around Diddy, fans are starting to question what kind of life lessons he picked up from his mom. Well, here's where things get wild. As mentioned earlier, Diddy's wiki page claims that Janice used to work as a model back in the day. But see, there's not a shred of evidence out there proving her modeling gigs. Instead, the grapevine's buzzing that Janice was allegedly organizing fashion shows as a front while behind the scenes, she was hooking up young women with some shady characters. However, it all came crashing down when one of the hustlers allegedly did something unspeakable to one of the young women. Rumor has it that Janice managed to evade any charges thanks to her late husband's connections to law enforcement. So if all these rumors are true, it really makes you wonder if this is one of the reasons Diddy appears to have twisted relationships with women. The story goes that Janice was allegedly pushing Diddy to do whatever it took to climb that ladder of success, with some even claiming that she encouraged him to cozy up to powerful men, letting them use him to get ahead, only for Diddy to turn around and allegedly do the same to others. And when Diddy started showing some seriously troubling signs, think anger issues and other disturbing personality traits, Janice allegedly egged him on to be ruthless. But here's where things take another sinister turn. Even when Diddy's anger turned on her, Janice apparently didn't lift a finger. According to Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, Kirk Barowies, a former executive at Bad Boy, witnessed Diddy putting his hands on Janice. You know, Kirk Burroughs was like, yo man, I should've saw, he told me he should've saw this coming with Cassie and the way he treated women when he slapped his mother. And I was like, he did what? And Kirk Burrell said, yeah. And then in another interview, Gene dropped a bombshell that Janice once made a move on him. And get this, when Gene turned down her advances, that's when all hell broke loose and Diddy eventually stepped down as Diddy's security. She wanted to show that she had power over me and I would never give her no power over me. You understand? Cause she used to always ask me to do I know what, you know, she probably really wanted me to do, but I wasn't feeling that. And from that point on, Paul started getting this other dude from my block, around our block named Stretch, 
because he was NYPD to take some of my, take my days. And I just said to myself, man, I ain't with that no more. And that's how we fell out. That's how it ended. That's how it ended. So she was trying to get at you on the low. She was trying to come on to you. That's why she kept messing with you. But she wasn't going for it. You wasn't checking for it like that. You wasn't interested. Not at all. Nah, I wasn't gonna knock the dust off that, bro. Not, not me. You didn't find her attractive? No, not at all. But it seems Janice's alleged advances and power trip didn't stop with just Jean. Rumor has it that she tried to make moves on other guys in Diddy's circle, including Mace, and allegedly Janice wanted to introduce Mace to some, shall we say, unconventional activities. Now here's where things get even more intriguing. While Mace never came right out and pointed fingers at Janice, he definitely dropped some hints about her involvement in Diddy's empire. In fact, he hinted on more than one occasion that Janice has all the evidence needed to expose Diddy. Yo, I did it. Told my he want receipts. Let's start with your mother. Nigga. Your mother got the receipts. Everything is in your mother name. That's the one who got the receipts. Nigga. You need more proof, nigga. Biggie ain't here, so Big can't give you no receipts. He dead. Craig Mack can't give you receipts. He dead. Hmm. What are you talking about? Who else? Black Rob can't give you receipts. He dead. Hmm. And everybody else, you may sign paperwork so they can't talk about what I'm talking about. By the way, when former Danity Kane member Aubrey O'Day recently revealed that Diddy made former Bad Boy artists sign NDAs before returning their publishing rights, she claimed that one of the stipulations in the NDA was to never disparage Diddy Bad Boy, Janice Combs, Justin Combs Music, EMI, or Sony ever in public. And now, on top of all this, rumors recently popped up that Janice couldn't stand Diddy's late girlfriend Kim Porter, and back in the day she was allegedly putting ideas into Diddy's head about Kim cheating on him. There are very few photos of Janice and Kim together, despite the fact that Kim is the mother of Diddy's children and she was in his life for roughly 13 years. And even in those few photos where they attend the same event, Kim and Janice are always sitting far apart and seemingly not interacting with each other. But there's another piece of the puzzle that's got everyone talking. So there's this bizarre video that's been making its rounds showing Diddy giving Janice a kiss on the lips. And then when Diddy starts talking about how he and his mom go to strip clubs together, he mentions that Janice can touch the floor with her palms. What's up, mom? Everything's good, baby. I really do. Yeah. I love you. Love you too. Mom, freshly dipped though. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, do know how to have a good time. <laughs> ain't sitting in the house playing. Yeah. They're outside moving and shaking, baby. Yeah, right. She come with me to strip club. I don't care. <laughs> For real, it's my dog, you know, I want to live life. We out here moving and grooving. So my mom told me, she just said, keep moving, baby. That's right. Keep moving. She Don't stop. She could touch, she could touch um, the floor with her palms, you know. Flat. Flat. Oh! <laughs> Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> now the kiss and the strip club talk are weird enough, but fans also noticed that Janice had white nails in the video. And if you remember, Cassie revealed in her lawsuit that Diddy made her wear white nail polish during FO sessions. And then if you notice, there's a vitamin drip behind Diddy and Janice. Another thing that Cassie mentioned, Diddy made her do the day after the FOs. Of course, this doesn't prove that Janice was involved in anything like that. But when you add all the pieces together, a lot of people are saying something just seems off about Diddy's mom. One fan said, for real, Diddy has issues, and well, we can see the apple don't fall too far from the tree. I believe Mace 100%. Diddy's mother is giving me toxic mom vibes. She raised a son husband, and well, they are not normal. Let's just leave it at that. The son could be the devil, and they are still gonna cover for their child. And another person added, I knew it. She always looked like she could be a madam or something. She looks sinister. But what's your take on Janice Combs and her relationship with Diddy? Do you think she was directly involved in Diddy's alleged crimes? Comment down below and then check out this next video.